I'm a trained medical anthropologist, and so I engage in research looking at the behavioral and social aspects of human health, uh, most of focusing on zoonotic diseases. I've personally been involved in interdisciplinary research for a long time because my first job that I got after doing my master's was in a research institution, bringing in the entomologists, the veterinary, medical, social anthropologists, microbiologists. So have sort of my work has grown up in an environment where we have the different disciplines working together. There have been issues in terms of uh, the non-social scientists not understanding the perspectives of the social scientists. But over the years, I've seen that change. A lot of that I can attribute to donor requirements for involvement of social scientists in health issues. And uh, that has really opened up the arena for involvement of social scientists into the research of medical issues. When we talk about health, it's a development issue. You can't separate health and development because for development to occur, we need a healthy population because health touches on many different aspects of development, be it education, be it um, aspects of gender, be it aspects of uh, environment. All those come together and health has an impact in all those areas. So development studies brings in packaging all that together to uh, contribute towards an understanding of disease from a complete wholesome perspective.